Bitcoin price keeps going up, which is a perfect moment in time to remember ourselves that Bitcoin has a currently active and developing overall ecosystem with many sidechains, many layer 2s which are ready to capitalize on the current success while at the same time helping Bitcoin to grow. For that reason, today we will explore one of the main Bitcoin layer 2s stacks and i will share with you the leading DeFi protocols we can earn yield on welcome back on the channel guys and today we will be focusing on the best protocols to yield farm on stacks and while these will theoretically be more conservative but still there's huge potential for these protocols since they can perform incredibly well in the current bull run so if you are looking for solid opportunities in DeFi, why not consider the Bitcoin ecosystem, which is still quite small and underdeveloped when compared with, for example, Ethereum and all its layer 2s. If you look at the current Bitcoin market cap and put it against the current Bitcoin ecosystem TVL, we can see a huge difference. So I'm assuming many holders of Bitcoin can definitely start to onboard and invest in the growing BTC DeFi ecosystem. We are now going to explore the main total value locked protocols and show you how you can earn yield with them. Let's dive in. But first things first, this DeFi ecosystem needs Bitcoin supporting wallets, meaning that Phantom, Metamask, among other popular Web3 wallets do not currently support the Bitcoin network. So you will need to use wallets who can work with it, like for example, what you're seeing on screen right now, Ladder. You can install it for free and that will be a solid option for you to explore the Bitcoin DeFi ecosystem. Now let's talk about Stacks. This is a layer 2 solution for Bitcoin, the same as for example you see happening with Ethereum. Ethereum has a ton of layer 2s. So Stacks is for Bitcoin the same that other Ethereum layer 2s are for Ethereum. Stacks is a layer 2 solution for Bitcoin that enables smart contracts and decentralized applications to use Bitcoin as a secure base layer. This is a layer 2 solution for Bitcoin that enables smart contracts and decentralized applications to use Bitcoin as a secure base layer. It is designed to unlock Bitcoin's full potential by adding smart contract functionality and faster transactions. The recent Nakamoto update allowed substantial improvement to the transaction speed on the network from 10 minutes to 5 seconds. A significant upgrade and while right now stacks only ranks 7th on all the Bitcoin sidechains, it is still one of the most promising ones. TVL is $107 million and volume for the past 24 hours is over $330,000. The Stacks token is worth $1.92 as of today. It might be different when you are watching the video, probably it will be different. Earlier this year, we can see the TVL was almost double of what it is now, with over $170 million. But the good news is that it seems to be bouncing back from the dip we experienced in early summer, where it was under $70 million TVL. Now let's look at the sum of the main protocols on stacks ranked by TVL, and we'll discuss the opportunities to yield farm on those. The top protocol is Stacking DAO with over $104 million in TVL. And this is a liquid staking protocol allowing users to earn native Bitcoin yield by stacking their STX tokens. If you look closer at the TVL of Stacking DAO, you see that it has some ups and downs if we read it in US dollars, because if you switch up to the Stacks token, you see that they pretty much kept themselves stable. So the money flowing in here has not for the most part left elsewhere. If you switch back into US dollars, now these ups and downs are related, of course, to the Stacks token price. Early July, early August and early September, when the TVL went down, you see that these are also the same points in time where the Stacks token also went down in price. That is something we can easily see on this chart here for the Stacks price and you see that for the most part in early July, August and September the price dipped below $1.50 per token. 
If you are a regular here on the channel, you know perfectly well how staking works, and although they call it stacking, this is the same thing as liquid staking. So we are locking our STX tokens, in return we get to earn yield, and also we keep our assets liquid in the shape of STSTX. You can also see there's a two-week cycle that it's granting an APY of over 10% right now. Quick reminder, if you want to unstack your STX position, you can simply swap your STSTX back to original stacks, STX, at any point in time through BitFlow, which is a protocol we will cover also later on. And you can do that at any point in time for getting instant liquidity. Otherwise, if you want to get your STX back via the stacking DAO, you will need to wait 14 days, which is the length of one stacking cycle. As you can see up here, it's per two weeks cycle that they work. This is how the protocol is designed. So if you want to access your liquidity instantly, you'll need to use BitFlow. They're also running points. This is a very recent protocol they launched roughly in the beginning of 2024. So if you want to earn stacking DAO points and be eligible for a potential future airdrop, this is the opportunities you have here, either by holding STSTX, deploying your STSTX tokens in other DeFi opportunities, or you can also refer users and earn 10% of their points as referral points. The DeFi opportunities that you can use STSTX are available here. You can click the DeFi tab and see all the protocols they are integrated with. So most of the more prominent protocols on Stacks will be listed here. Plenty of options to use STSTX, for example, has Collateral with Arcadico. You use it to mint a stablecoin, USDA. You can use it also with Bitflow, like we just mentioned. This is where you also can go to get instant, instant access to your liquid staked liquidity. And in here, you can, for example, supply liquidity to an STSTX paired with the original STX tokens. So that's the one of the pairs that you can use it for providing liquidity, of course. Hermetica, for example, has some vaults that allow you to earn up to 16% APY. Velar also has a trading pool. Zest protocol also allows you to supply these STSTX tokens to earn yield and use it as collateral. So you can borrow against it. And remember, all of these options are allowing you to earn yield on top of the 10% APY that the stacking DAO is currently offering. Another major player in the Stacks ecosystem is Alex, the leading decentralized exchange with over $37 million in TVL. Their native token Alex is currently worth $0.09, cents, which is very far from the all-time high back in April when it was worth roughly $0.40, $0.50 cents of a dollar. Just be aware that they have been hacked in May the 16th for an amount of $4.3 million, showcasing that DeFi being in its very early stages, it's still prone to this type of event. And although they are a DEX, they are a very complete one. Not only you can swap tokens as usual on a DEX, but you can also provide liquidity, also bridge, also connecting to some of Ethereum layer 2s. They also have their own order book, to instantly execute threads via their Bitcoin secured order book. When it comes to earn, you can use their farms also to earn some extra yield on top of the fees from being a liquidity provider. You can make use of their single sided staking options and also you can stake the Alex token on Liza, which is another protocol here on Stacks. They are actually a liquid staking protocol that you can lock your Alex tokens there, and when you do deposit Alex, you get in return LI Alex, keeping your assets liquid, and you can use them in other DeFi activities while earning already an APY that for the last cycle, it was over 5%. 
So that tells us already that they have indeed some very strong connections with other DeFi protocols on the Stacks ecosystem. They can also offer you other options when it comes to supporting launches of tokens. They have their multi-chain launch pad, so it can help you to launch your own token on multiple blockchains, not just only on Stacks. Also, while providing you the opportunity to self-list your token for broad exposure on their decentralized exchange. So in my opinion, I give it a big thumbs up. It's definitely a very broad spectrum of DeFi services that Alex is offering. The DEX itself, it feels really smooth. It has a really good looking dashboard. It gives you plenty of information. For example, when we browse through all the pools that they do offer, you get some tags for, for example, meme coins, or for example, in the case of there's a liquidity pool that has been burned to assure security and reliability to users depositing into that pool, they will also tag it. And the same thing will also be showing here if the liquidity pool is locked. So the dashboard itself also is very simple to understand what's going on on screen. And if you want to get some extra yield on top of your liquidity pool fees, you can get the information for all the farms available under the farm yield column. So under the earning options, you can also see that you will have the option to stake and also to farm. If you want to stake your Alex here, you can do that. When staking Alex, there's going to be two options, automatic or manual. The illustration here shows you basically the earnings difference, but it's merely for illustrating purposes. This is not actual gains. It goes to show that the auto staking is purely passive. Everything that it's yielding you, it's going to be automatically compounded into the position, while the manual, you have to do everything yourself. The claiming, the restaking, and building your bag has to do or has to be done manually, essentially. Alternatively, you can also go like we saw already before and stake on Liza, keeping your Alex liquid in the shape of LI Alex. And also, like we mentioned, they have their own cross-chain bridge and also BRC20 bridge, and it will allow you to cross-chain your tokens between some Ethereum or Ethereum Layer 2s, for example, along with many others, such as, for example, BNB, a very popular blockchain as well. Next on the list, we have Zest, which is an on-chain lending protocol built for Bitcoin. They have a TVL of over $35 million, and when using Zest, users can lend or borrow assets, earning yield on native Bitcoin and also trade stablecoins. Overall, great option for those looking to diversify their yield farming strategies. Zest launched back in April of 2024, and so far it has grown and kept itself quite stable. If we switch up here from Stacks tokens to US dollars, you'll see the TVL is, is experiencing some more ups and downs, but that's due to the volatility of the price of the STX token. Overall, I do see Zest performing really well in the future. It's a great option, not only for those looking to diversify their yield farming strategies, but also if you look at how much of the TVL, for example, on the Ethereum ecosystem is on Aave, one of the biggest protocols in DeFi, and I think Zest can really perform the same way here on Bitcoin. The Bitcoin market is coming soon. Right now, the Stacks market is the one currently ongoing. Very generous supply APYs right now for the stablecoin USDC and that's because the total borrowed is very close to the total supplied. So with the more demand here on the borrowing side, better yields will be granted for the one supplying with the higher APY. So for this for a stablecoin, over 40% APY it's something which it's not looking too bad to be honest. And again, while I was comparing it to Aave, we see here on the assets that it's still very shallow when compared to Aave. So there's still a long road to go with Zest, but the potential is still here, especially because they also have their own points system. So this is again, hinting for a possible airdrop in the future and a token for Zest can prove to be quite valuable then we have Bitflow, a decentralized exchange focusing on price stable assets like stable coins and Bitcoin swaps, for example. The TVL right now is very close to $19 million. 
they launched also earlier this year back in february and if we look at the tvl it has pretty much kept itself stable there was a noticeable dip back in may but in june it went up again and although throughout the months it, the tvl has been slowly draining and going down a little bit uh, it's probably going to reverse at any time soon with all the recent FOMO around Bitcoin. So this is the exchange we mentioned before when looking at the stacking DAO. You can get instant access to your liquidity if you swap ST, STX for STX here instead of waiting for the cycle to conclude on the stacking DAO. Of course, that's going to be optional. Other ways to earn here are through their liquidity pools. And as you can see, the assets here are only stable assets, even when we're looking at Bitcoin. So stable assets means that there's not going to be in permanent loss unless something crazy happens with some of these tokens. But they're paired with other versions of the same token, same different derivatives, but from the same token. So, for example, we have a BTC paired with X BTC. Both are pegged to Bitcoin's price, so you'll not experience in permanent loss. The same goes for the STX token paired with its liquid derivative ST STX from the stacking DAO. We also have a couple of stable tokens paired here and also STX paired with AE USDC. So this is the only volatile pair of all the ones being displayed right now. And they are not only a DEX, but a DEX aggregator on stacks, integrating multiple protocols like Alex, Arcadico. We already took a look at Alex. Later on, we'll take a look at Arcadico, also Velar and others. So these will guarantee the best swap rates across stacks. Although the protocol is still very recent, it will allow users to earn real yield on Bitcoin. Deposit Bitcoin, earn Bitcoin. And coming soon, there will be the service for borrowing Bitcoin with 0% interest loans. For that, you'll need to use the STSTX token as collateral. So from there, you can already see that this platform has really tight connections with the stacking DAO. As it happens already with the previously mentioned protocols, Bitflow ha also has the points program ongoing. So if you use the platform, you'll stack in points. Every trade counts, you can get a thousand points on your first swap daily. So these are incentives for people to keep on using the platform, preferably on a daily basis. Ranking fifth is Arcadeco. This is the last one with a TVL above 10 million. They have $13.1 million. They are the protocol who grew the most for the past month with almost 20% plus increase in TVL. They have a native token, which is Daiko. Right now it's worth 16 cents, but back in March, all time high price was at around 50 cents of a dollar. Arcadico allows on-chain borrowing secured by Bitcoin, so you can collateralize your STX tokens and in return you can mint your stablecoin USDA using it for various on-chain activities. Currently there are three available vaults to borrow from and all of them work by over collateralizing your deposit. This means that there will always be more value locked within the vault then compared with the existing depth in so each vault has its own liquidation ratio when the current ratio dips below that then the vault becomes eligible for auction meaning that external liquidators can come in and buy the collateral in the vault at a discount this will remove any depth and also the collateral from your possession but you will keep the minted usda here on the staking tab, you can see that there is a liquidation pool made from USDA tokens. So this is the automated mechanism from Arcadico that purchases vault collateral in auctions at a discount. So if you provide USDA liquidity to this pool, you will not only earn DICO rewards, but also your USDA will be converted when auctions are executed, resulting in buying collateral 10% below market prices. So if you are up to buy potentially any of these assets here from the vaults at a discount, 
you are most likely wanting to take advantage of this USDA pool for staking. Not only that, you can also stake the DICO tokens here. And when you do that, you will receive ST DICO, which is a representation of your share of the pool. You'll use both DICO and ST DICO to propose and vote in the governance of the Arcadico protocol. Swap also offers users the ability to provide liquidity to their pools earning the fees generated doing trading and also there will be incentives paid in the DICO token. And right now these are the main protocols in the Stacks ecosystem that I wanted to share with you. There's others which are also very promising that I will likely bring on the channel later on. If you want me to look at the specific one let me also know in the comments and also let me know what are your thoughts about Stacks. Also if there's any questions Feel free to drop them again in the comment section. If you took value from these DeFi exploring sessions that we do, make sure you like and subscribe. That being said, thank you for watching, take care and I'll see you on the next one.